Ukrainian officials reported that Ukrainian forces are stabilizing the situation along the northern border in Kharkiv Oblast, and that the tempo of Russian offensive operations in the area continues to decrease. Ukrainian Kortitsia Group of Forces Spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Nazar Voloshin stated on May 16th that Ukrainian forces are partially stabilizing the situation in the Kharkiv direction, and the Ukrainian general staff noted that Ukrainian forces have so far denied Russia's tactical objectives to penetrate Ukrainian defenses within Vovchansk, northeast of Kharkiv city, and establish a foothold in the area. Russian forces recently seized Lukyansi, northeast of Lipsy, and advanced closer to Lipsy amid continued offensive operations in the area on May 16th. Geolocated footage published on May 15th indicates that Russian forces recently advanced south of Lukyansi, and ISW assesses that recent reports that Russian forces seized the settlement are accurate. Geolocated footage published on May 16th indicates that Russian forces advanced closer towards Lipsy from the northeast. Russian sources claim that Russian forces advanced up to 1.2 kilometers in depth near the southern outskirts of Hlybok, north of Lipsy, although ISW has not yet observed evidence of further Russian gains in the area. Russian forces continued offensive operations north of Lipsy, near Pilna, Lukyansi, and Hlybok, and near Lipsy itself. Russian forces recently advanced within northern Vovchansk and continued offensive operations in the area on May 16th. Geolocated footage published on May 16th indicates that Russian forced advanced up to Taras Shevchenka Street and along Korolenka Street in northern Vovchansk and seized the Vovchansk Central District Hospital. Geolocated footage published on May 16th indicates that Russian forces recently made marginal gains in northeastern Staritsa, west of Vovchansk, on the western side of the Siversky Donets River. Russian sources claimed that Russian forces advanced up to three kilometers within Vovchansk and are approaching the Vovchansk Cemetery in northeastern Vovchansk and the aggregate plant in central Vovchansk. The Ukrainian general staff reported that Russian forces continued offensive operations near Staritsia Pletanivka, north of Vovchansk and Vovchansk. The limited combat power that Russian forces have so far committed to offensive operations in northern Kharkiv Oblast may already be degraded. Ukrainian military observer Kostyantin Mashevitz stated on May 16th that elements of the 18th Motorized Rifle Division and the 7th Motorized Rifle Regiment, both 11th Army Corps, AC, LMD, have suffered heavy losses attacking along the Hlybok Lukyansi front, and that the recent tempo of Russian offensive operations in the area has significantly decreased. Mashovet stated that elements of the 1st Tank Regiment, 2nd Motorized Rifle Division, and 47th Tank Division both 1st Guards Tank Army, Moscow Military District, MMD, are currently conducting offensive operations near Vovchansk. Mashovitz stated that the Russian Northern Grouping of Force is leasing limited elements from the 1st Guards Tank Army, which is currently responsible for renewed offensive operations northwest of Svatov. Ukrainian military observer Yuri Butusov stated on March 25th that elements of the 138th and 25th Motorized Rifle Brigades, 6th Combined Arms Army, CAA, Leningrad Military District, LMD, are also operating within northern Vovchansk, however. 